Hello dear student. We have already completed our discussion on the chapter surface tension. Now let us do some problems so that we can gain a good understanding in the topic. As we have already discussed, the surface of a fluid acts as a stretched membrane and this is due to the surface tension and this stretching of membrane or the energy stored or the force acting is known as the surface tension. Surface tension of a fluid is defined as the force acting tangential to the liquid surface and perpendicular to unit length of an imaginary line drawn on the surface of the liquid. Surface tension is due to the molecular interactions at the surface level and the bulk level. The surface molecules have a net energy or the potential energy which is due to the pulling of the molecules from the bulk and this energy is known as the surface energy. Surface energy is the potential energy per unit area of a liquid surface and it is numerically equal to the surface tension. The work done in producing an area is given by the surface tension product the area produced. Therefore, as the area produced increases, the work done also increases. Let's go on to our first question. A U-shaped wire is dipped in a soap solution and removed. A thin soap film formed between the wire and a light slider supports a weight of 1.5 into 10 to the power negative 2 Newton. This includes the weight of the slider also. The length of the slider is 30 cm. What is the surface tension of the film? In the given question, it is said that we have a film or a U-shaped wire which is dipped in a sort of solution so it forms a film. We know that this film has two surfaces, one in the front and another in the back. That is air-water surface and the water-air contact. So this have two surfaces. Due to surface tension, the area is uh, minimized, that is the whole system tend to minimize the area. Therefore, this film is being pulled upward due to surface tension. And this pulling is balanced by having a weight hanged from the slider. And at this position, this complete system is in equilibrium. That is, the weight uh, equals uh, the surface tension which pulls up the film. So, we are asked to find the surface tension of the film. So, the uh, values given here is we have the weight. Weight is given as 1.5 into 10 to the power negative 2 Newton. We have the length of the slider and the length of the slider is 30 centimeter that is 30 into 10 to the power negative 2 meter. Now we know that there are two surfaces and these two surfaces has the same surface tension yes and it is acting on a length L. Therefore, the energy or the force due to surface tension, force due to surface tension acting on two surfaces of length L because uh, these force are acting on this slider this slider is which is being pulled upward and it's pulled upward from both the sides so the force is two times the surface tension times the length of the slider and this is balanced by our weight therefore 2sl is balanced by our weight therefore the surface tension is given by weight divided by 2 L and it is 1.5 into 10 to the power negative 2 
divided by 30 into 10 to the power negative 2. We know that uh, 3 uh, divided by 2 is 1.5. So, our answer here is 2.5 into sorry we have a 2 here. So, it is 2.5 into 10 to the power negative 2 Newton per meter and this is the value of a surface tension. Hope it's clear. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 2. Calculate the work done in blowing a soap bubble of radius 3 cm. What will be the additional work if the radius becomes 4 cm on further blowing? Surface tension of the soap solution is 25 into 10 to the power negative 3 Newton per meter. We know that the surface tension or the work done here we have asked to find the work done and we know that the work done is equal to surface tension into area produced. So, this question has two part. First part is we are asked to find the work done in blowing a soap bubble to 3 cm. After that it is asked to find the additional work done if we further blow the bubble and make it to 4 cm. So, let us answer the first question what will be the work done. So, we know that the work done is equal to surface tension into area produced. So, here the surface tension is already given. We have the area, we need to find the area produced. We know that it is a bubble. So, it is spherical in form. Therefore, the area of a sphere whose radius is 3 cm is given by 4 pi r squared and where r is 3 cm. Along with that, we are dealing with a bubble. That is, it has two uh, surfaces. We are dealing with a soap bubble in air. So, inside we have air, outside we have a soap molecules in water and outside we have air. So, we are dealing with two different surfaces. So, the work done is producing this into two different surfaces. Therefore, the work done is equal to 2 into our surface tension. Surface tension is given by 25 into 10 to the power negative 3 into the area produced is 4 pi into 3 centimeter. So, 3 centimeter have to be converted to meter 3 into 10 to the power negative 2 the whole squared and the answer is 5.65 into 10 to the power negative 4 joules. So, this much energy have to be blown into the swap film so that it will form a swap bubble of 3 centimeter. Now, we are further blowing the swap bubble and making it to 4 centimeter. So, here the work done is the surface tension into area produced additionally. So, what is the area produced additionally? Initially, we had a 3 centimeter bubble. Now, we need to have a 4 centimeter bubble. So, the additional area produced initial area was 4 pi 3 into 10 to the power negative 2 squared and the final area was 4 pi into 4 centimeter. Uh, R square is 4 centimeter. So, 4 into 10 to the power negative 2 square. So, the additional area produced is the difference between these two. Therefore, uh, again we have two surfaces. Therefore, 2 into 25 into 10 to the power negative 3 into additional area produced. What is additional area produced? 4 pi into 4 into 10 to the power negative 2 the whole squared minus 
3 into 10 to the power negative 2 the whole squared and the answer is 4.4 into 10 to the power negative 4 joule. So we need to put in an energy, an additional energy of 4.4 into 10 to the power negative 2 joule by blowing into the bubble so that the bubble will expand to 4 centimeter. Question number 3. A spherical drop of water of radius 1 millimeter is sprayed into a million drops all of the same size. Find energy expanded in doing so. We are given with the surface tension of water as 72 into 10 to the power negative 3 Newton per meter. So what is the question? In question we are given with one single drop of water and this drop of water has one millimeter that is one millimeter radius drop of water and this drop of water split into a million drops that is 10 to the power negative 6 drops uh, all of the same size. In this case, we are asked to find the energy expanded in doing so. So, uh, here we know that the volume of the original drop will be equal to the volume final. The volume of the original, since it is a sphere, we know that the volume will be constant. Since it is a sphere, the volume is 4 pi. Uh, let's assume that uh, we are already given let's say R is a volume uh, original volume and it is 1 millimeter 4 pi R cube will be same as 10 to the power 6 10 to the power 6 that is a million drops therefore 10 to the power 6 in of all small drops and it will be of the volume 4 pi small R cube. From this, we can find the value of R cube as R cube is equal to capital R cube divided by 10 to the power 6. So, uh, in uh, removing the cubes, we can write R small r is equal to capital R uh, divided by 10 to the power negative 2. We know that the capital R is 1 millimeter. Therefore, small r is equal to 1 into 10 to the power negative 3. That is 1 millimeter divided by 10 to the power negative 2. That is 10 to the power negative 5 meter. So, this is the radius that has been produced. Now, we need to find the surface area of a million drop. We are now found the radius of a million drop. So, we need to find the surface area of 10 to the power 6 drops of radius 10 to the power negative 5 meter. So, what is the surface area? Surface area is simple and it is given by 10 to the power 6 since we have 10 to the power 6 drops and the surface area is 4 pi r square and r is 10 to the power negative 5 the whole square. Therefore, the surface area here is 4 pi into 10 to the power negative 4 meter squared. Now, we have found the surface area of the small drops. Now, what can are we asked to find? We are asked to find the work done. Uh, work done and energy expanded are same. Work done is the energy. So, we uh, just need to find the work done. Work done is surface tension into area produced area produced additionally okay now here we are dealing with a drop of water 
what is uh, the drop of water uh, doing to us since we have a drop of water we have only one surface that is inside it is completely filled with water so only one surface and that is air water surface so we need to consider only one surface so s into area produced additionally so area produced additionally is the area of our uh, final surface that is 10 to the power 6 drops minus the area of our initial water drop that is 4 pi into capital R squared. Therefore, the work done is equal to yes, our surface tension 72 into 10 to the power negative 3 into increase in area. And what is increase in area? Increase in area is given by 4 pi into 10 to the power negative 4. This is the final area minus 4 pi into r squared where initial r was 1 millimeter. So, 10 to the power negative 3 the whole square. And this will give us 4 pi into 10 to the power, sorry, this will give us around 3.96 pi into 10 to the power negative 4 meter squared. Therefore, work done is equal to 72 into 10 to the power negative 3 into this increase in area that is 3.96 pi into 10 to the power negative 4 meter squared and this can be calculated as 8.95 into 10 to the power negative 5 joules. So, this is the work done in producing a million droplets from a single drop. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.